Now, a pro-democracy activist from Hong Kong, Joshua Wong, has been detained in Thailand. Wong was one of the main leaders of protests in 2014, which brought parts of Hong Kong to a standstill for almost three months. His host, who invited him to Bangkok, says he was arrested at the airport. Let's go live now to our China correspondent, Adrian Brown, who is in Beijing. And Adrian, all suspicions are that uh, the Thai authorities are operating on the instructions of China. Yes, that's right. A short time ago, a news agency reported that the deputy commander of the immigration office at Bangkok International Air Airport had responded to a request by China to blacklist Joshua Wong. He was therefore denied entry into Thailand and deported. He was put on a flight several hours ago and is due to land in Hong Kong in about an hour's time. So that will be the end of an odyssey that began late, really, on Tuesday evening. He'd been due to address a gathering of students in Thailand. Uh, they are marking a sensitive anniversary. It's 40 years since a brutal crackdown by the military. And so Joshua Wong had been invited to address the new breed of political activists in Thailand, but that didn't happen. So it seems that China sent a request to Thailand not to allow Joshua Wong in. That has happened before, Martin. We have seen China at least one, on one occasion in the past year send an instruction to uh, Thailand to deport ethnic Chinese Uyghurs who had been trying to seek sanctuary in China. And then remember there was this one of those five Hong Kong booksellers he was found uh, to be holidaying in a resort in Thailand and was spirited back to the mainland. It's believed by mainland officials. So China does have form in this sort of thing, Martin. And uh, I know you're quite far away, Adrian, but do we have any idea as to where Joshua Wong is now? Well, his flight is now making its way across the South China Sea. He's believed to be on a Hong Kong Airlines flight. That is due to land, we are told, at about 3.45 uh, local time in Hong Kong. I would imagine at the airport there will be many of his supporters. Joshua Wong only turns 20 next month, but he is one of the leading democracy lights in Hong Kong. He led the pro-democracy protests, which brought Hong Kong to a halt two years ago. He recently formed a new party which essentially advocates self-rule for Hong Kong. And that is why he is regarded as an enemy by China, because they believe what he is proposing amounts to little more than sedition. And China has warned in the past that activists like Joshua Wong will be punished if they continue down that path, but hasn't defined exactly what sort of punishment that will be. But China has acted decisively once more, proving that the long arm of the Chinese state can stretch far and wide. Adrian Brown, live in Beijing. Thank you.